Welcome everybody to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. I am your host, Nicole Simonin. This podcast is for women who are so sick of dieting and so tired of being uncomfortable in their clothes and who are looking for a lasting solution without trying to starve yourself all week, only to overeat on the weekends, or feeling like you're a slave to a cardio machine. It is possible to lose weight over 40. And if you don't believe me, keep listening. Hello everyone, welcome to today's podcast. Today I am gonna tell you some reasons why you aren't losing weight. So sometimes you think you're doing everything right and then you try on those pants and they're tight. What the heck went wrong? Now, this podcast is being recorded in the end of April of 2020 and we are in full lockdown in the coronavirus quarantine. So if this podcast is not appropriate at this time, I don't know what is. (laughs) So if your sweatpants are feeling a little bit more like Lululemon pants, definitely listen on. The first reason you might not be losing weight is you might not be getting enough sleep. So when you sleep, your body is busy repairing the muscles that you worked in your training session, plus sleep produces the growth hormone, which helps with fat loss and boost your immunity and helps keep stress levels down. The second reason why you are probably struggling is, especially nowadays, you are eating highly processed foods. Processed foods are typically high in sugar and in salt. If your insulin levels are too high from eating too much sugar, you're not going to be able to lose weight. Another factor is is if you're eating a lot of salty foods, you're going to be retaining water from too much sodium, and this can be huge when you step on the scale. So both sodium and salt can puff you up and make you think that you've gained weight when actually you've just gained water weight. Just because that's water weight doesn't mean go ahead and eat a bunch of highly processed foods either. Uh, If you have followed me for any length of time, I am a believer in you can eat whatever you want and still lose weight. But come on, we can't, well, you can eat ho-hos and Twinkies and lots of junk food all day long, but you're not going to feel good. And whatever your final results are going to be are, so if you're working out and you're eating junk food, you're not going to have the same results as if you were eating healthy, solid foods. So healthy solid foods most of the time and then have your junk food every now and then. Another reason why you might not be losing weight, and this is big during this quarantine time, is you could be stressed out. So when you're stressed, your cortisol levels increase. Your body is in flight or fight mode most of the time. In an effort to keep the body safe, it's going to start storing fat just in case there's like an emergency. This is natural programming back from primitive times. Keep in mind that we can only control what we can control. Definitely go listen to one of the former podcasts of mine, um, How to Feel Powerful When Your World is in Chaos. That might help. Another reason you might not be losing weight is you might not be drinking enough water. Again, because we're in quarantine, if you're adding water to your alcoholic drinks, (laughs) that doesn't count. So make sure you're drinking enough water. Water helps flush out toxins and helps mobilize fat to get out of the body. And it will also help decrease that puffy feeling as like we said, I said earlier about eating too much sugar or sodium. If you are retaining water, you want to increase your water. So don't pull back in the water because that's how your body kind of flushes out the sodium. Water also makes your muscles full and dense so they look more defined. So make sure you drink up. Ideally, you want to have, depending on your body weight, 90 ounces is probably the minimum of water that you want to be drinking each day. Um, A good rule of thumb, TMI coming up, but a good rule of thumb is to, when you go to the bathroom, if your um, urine is pale or almost clear, then you know you're hydrated. If it's really dark yellow, you need some water as soon as possible. Okay, the last reason that you aren't losing weight is kind of like a, well, duh, Nicole, (laughs) but eating too many calories. So unfortunately, you cannot eat whatever you want in the quantity that you want and not expect to gain weight. In order to lose 
body fat in order to lose inches in order to see that scale go down you need to be burning more calories than you're taking in period if you choose to ignore this nothing's going to happen and your clothes will be tighter and tighter and you're, you're just not going to lose body fat i always tell my clients that you eat when you're hungry stomach is growling and you stop when you're comfortably full if you are eating any other time your stomach's not growling that kind of thing you are eating for emotional reasons and that's where the work begins you need to figure out what it is that you're emotionally eating or what you're not getting emotionally or um, maybe you're bored or something like that so that's where you need to start to figure out why you're overeating okay so just to recap reason number one that you're not losing weight is you are not getting enough sleep number two eating highly processed foods number three being stressed out number four not drinking enough water and number five eating too many calories so there are still many other reasons why you may not be losing weight because everyone is unique and different start off with these five reasons that i'm giving you and see if any of them you need to check off and if you're still not losing weight it's time to call a professional it's time to figure out what's wrong or why you can't get the results that you want. All right, that's it for me today and I will talk to you soon. Hey, if you're loving this Shape It Up Over 40 podcast, I would love to read a review. Head over to iTunes, now called Apple Podcasts, and scroll down to the bottom of the Shape It Up podcast and please leave a review. I can't wait to read what you wrote and might be reading some reviews on the podcast so make sure you get yours in once you're done your review you can always head to shapeitupfitness.com to get started or to listen in to more podcasts